what's going on guys just got this router table and router in from uh, amazon this is skills router table and router combo uh recommended by matt outlaw he's got a really good video on youtube uh, go check him out so what we're gonna do is we're, i'm gonna take you all through kind of my unboxing um see how easy it is to put together see how long it takes me it is 642 now um just kind of go through the process so here we go look at this bad boy so got the skill router this isn't a plunge base this is a fixed base um, I have a DeWalt plunge and base router combo, but this is going to be only for the router table. So, uh, so, this router, like I said, is the fixed base, and I believe it is 2 amp. I could be wrong. Let's see. It's got the adjustable speed on off and then right here you can adjust the height or depth so it comes with uh, the actual router instructions I guess the table instructions and mounting plate instructions I'm not exactly sure we'll see so it comes with this looks like the edge guide wrench uh this might be a dust collection adapter not exactly sure yet and this looks like a a uh adapter or a reducer for the router to go from half inch to quarter inch maybe we'll see now i guess this is the uh the tool to adjust the height uh, or the depth of the cut. First step is to attach legs to the table. I don't think it matters left or right. I haven't seen an L or an R anywhere. So we'll see. So these are just three little screws. Pull them out, they give you the Allen wrench. Looks like you gotta open up the side, put it down. All right, so got that in. Never tighten everything up until all your screws are in. Never tighten one before you got them all in, or else it'll mess up your uh, alignment. All right, so this side's probably a little bit easier for you to see. Got your three screws right here. All you've got to do, unscrew. So you got your three holes. You open it up. This piece right here will slip in right there. And then as you can see, you got your holes line up right here and then the one in the back.
So this is where your router is going to go. Uh, I'm guessing that it slips in. Not sure what that does. We're going to find out. All right, so it looks like you have to take your plastic sub base off. Took the sub base off. All right, got three holes or three screws right here. Just Phillips head. But I will say this uh, for the price, this thing's super solid. Okay, there's just four screws. Okay. So this comes out. And then it looks like. What's going on YouTube? The ox, they're not ox. If you look right here, the, it's got crosshairs on what you need. Cool. So it is. 708, what's that? 18 plus 8, 20, 26 minutes so far? Oh, go on. Now it looks like So we got the bracket mounted on the actual router. So we're going to slide that under and that will lock it in place. And then these four holes right here. We'll, we'll use these four and then you'll put these right there all right so this right this cord we're going to go ahead and plug in Tighten these first before we tighten it with the drill. Oh, see that? Strip it out. So I need to definitely turn that down. See that strip right there. So that may end up replacing that one eventually, but. We'll see. So, for right now, I think I'm just going to be doing roundovers, stuff like that. And that's a half inch collet on that. And like I said, I, I want to say it came with. This right here is a quarter inch collet. So, when you take this insert out, you slide that in, and now you got. You can put a quarter inch router bits in it. So that's really cool. Two and a half uh, 
zero. So you kind of want to make sure it's square before you start using it, but uh, it's decent. At least it gives you one for the price. All right, so it looks like next we're going to be attaching the fence. So this fence, essentially, this knob here and this knob here are what holds the fence in place. So you don't want to tighten these all the way as soon as you get them on because on the front side you have you got to make sure it's square and parallel All right so let's turn it around here so you can see like you have your measurements right here your inch inch and that is awesome because helps you get it let's get right on that one inch I don't know if that's exactly where it's supposed to be all right so we got got it set up we got it at one inch on either side and I'm not exactly sure what it's really supposed to be but y'all can see so if you're doing any kind of cabinetry, you can have your uh, cabinetry jig or your uh, whatever cutter and you hold your piece and you can come back like that. They make jigs to make it a lot safer than that, but, and obviously you have this down. So good thing to remember when you're working with a router table, when you're doing a handheld router, you want to go left to right. When you're doing a router table, it's upside down, so you go right to left. Just a little tip. Class has to be open. That way you can adjust the height of your router and that adjusts the depth right of here. Up. There's uh, very small adjustments. You can move around the fence, do minor adjustments with this gauge right here. So your feather board right here, if you're going this way, you set your depth. Alright. And then just like that. So you want to do a dovetail, if you want to make some jigs, if you want to do round over, chamfers, whatever it is, this is a great little router table. And I think I put these on backwards because these should open up that way, but oh well, I don't think it, it's not going to bother me. These are for all your router bits, so this it's awesome, man. Really liking it. Can't wait to use it. Tomorrow, I'm going to do some cuts and see how this does. So just want to let y'all know, the dust collection was not set up when I started these cuts. So you can see in this one, on the edge profile, it's not a big deal at all. When you're doing deeper cuts, you're going to go a lot more sawdust, so just keep that in mind that you want dust collection set up when you are using these routers, and it does come with a good shroud. So I've been using this for a few days now, and doing some roundovers and some uh, 
edge profile in. Uh, it works great for that. Uh, you, here you can see I'm doing it on some hardwood, working on a walnut and maple charcuterie board for a customer, and it did great. I did realize though, uh, your bits matter. So getting the Diablo and the fruit aren't bad, but if you go to white side bits and bits, the higher quality router bits, you're gonna get a much nicer cut. So just keep that in mind. Um, and like I said, this is a great budget router. I'll put a link down in the description. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, this is my first YouTube video, so please comment below. Let me know what you like, dislike, what you think we should do next time. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.